What's up? This is just going to be a bit of a tidbit on regrips. Uh, more specifically, when you have to do something starting with an R prime, and it requires you, or at least it's p potentially in your best interest to regrip with your thumb on the top like this. I think there are definitely a decent number of algorithms where this is true. For example, this F12 pair, I think I don't see any point in trying to like do fancy U-turns there. I just think regripping. Like, that makes a lot of sense. But there's been one thing I've been playing with in particular, and that's how I do that right hand regrip. So, normally I would, you know, regrip the whole hand. You know, fingers go on bottom, thumb goes on top, like that. But what I've kind of realized lately and haven't really talked about on this channel is that a lot of the time, and it seems like pretty much all the time, this is something I've been trying to work into my solves. I, I don't think I'm the first person to come up with this, by the way. I think there definitely are cubers that just like do this subconsciously and haven't really thought about it, but this was something that was a big eye-opener for me, and that is just re-gripping the thumb and not the back of the back of the right hand. So obviously doing that is a lot quicker than... Some, I mean, they can both be done like the same speed, but it's a lot less effort to do this than it is to do that. Like, I... Pardon me. When I actually do this mo motion quickly, like, I feel like muscles tensing up in my forearm, whereas if I do this, it's like, you know, like a little bit here, you know, nothing, basically. Now, one thing to note about this is when you start your R primes like this, you will, as you do the R prime, you will kind of have to reset your right hand a little bit, but it's really not that bad. Um, the other thing to note is that when the R prime is followed up with a U-turn, so here would be like R prime U, I've found personally that just doing that U-turn with right middle instead of right index like that, makes it work, or it makes it flow a lot easier for me. Um, you might find that you're able to do this and then do an index turn, but like, you know, every time I try to do it, it's pretty much my middle finger that ends up in this spot. So this pair would... Okay, now I did it for some reason, but... Yeah, so the way it would kind of look is R prime, middle finger U, and then reset the hand and then just do normal stuff. Um, so like that. Now I'm just going to scramble the cube off camera and I'm going to do just like an example solve and like point out me doing this finger trick. Hopefully there's at least a few that come up. Because like I said, this has been coming up quite a bit. Uh, I won't explain cross because it's probably not going to come up there. Um, that pair is not really a good example. This one's not. Uh, this one really isn't either. What if I... Uh, what if I do this? No. Okay. Well, I didn't get an example there, but I'm just going to set up a actual example that I can think of, and that's the new V perm that's becoming popular. This one. So here I've started doing that same R prime U thing. So just like a small regrip, R prime U, and then just the rest of it like normal. And I found that it's really really helpful for me. Um, now I'm struggling to think of an example that involves starting with a U-prime. Actually this works, okay, so this pair. Now doing this in home grip, you can do it, but having to push that last U-turn just kind of sucks, or like dragging it like that. So what I've been liking is just doing that. So it's really quick, you know, just like thumb, U-prime, and then your, hand, your right hand's in the right position, and then you can just finish like that. Anyways, that's it. That's the finger trick, that's the tip, that's the video. Goodbye.